Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Orogiri Pro Tips. Uh, this is just a short little video announcement here. Um, so last week, or yeah, I guess it's last week, I talked about how you can do the um, the Ifrit dungeon here to level up your alternative characters, you know, get that get resonance and all that good stuff. And you know, it was pretty good. You get, I, like you saw um, me get my level three character to level fifty one in not very long, maybe five or six runs, not even. It was pretty good, but um, shortly after that video went up, um, our friend um, Blood Mauler told us, uh, he's like, hey, did you know that even though it's just a solo dungeon, if you go in a party, it uh, more mobs will show up, because the dungeon, even though you play as Ifrit, it's the same dungeon as the PT version where you can have multiple players, and when you have multiple players in the dungeon, well, there's more mobs. So, since it's the same dungeon, when you do it, just the Ifrit version, if you're, if you're just in, let's say, a five-man body party, um, there will be more mobs. And uh, Lyra was telling me that his level 77 characters doing this, he started on level 77, um, he was on, like, boost, like 200, 300, whatever he had in the character at the time. Um, on that boost, he was getting about an extra million experience than before. And for... Any character under level 100, a million experience is a lot. Is totally a lot, totally a lot. So, just wanted to just shout that out there. That um, if you want to get resonance using the Ifrit dungeon, it really pays off to uh, get a body party, and that means you'll be using more attacks and there'll be more enemies and stuff. So just you're gonna rely more on your SP potions and making sure you hit the enemy with your R1s. So that's all I really wanted to say was that if you're gonna go for the resonance, you're gonna use boosts and all that, try to get yourself into a nice body party that you can rely on and just cruise through it for an hour. And let's say you do have a boost on that character and you want to use it, well, a lot of those characters don't have a lot of energy restores. Like if they don't, that's, that's you know, if they do, that's great, use them. But if they don't, um, you can just freely log out of that character because as most of us know if you log out of a character while they're on a boost um, You know they'll retain that boost until you log back in so if all you want to do is just level up that alt Go to another alt level up that alt, or just go back to your main character and then come back when they have energy It's a great way to do it with using minimal boost so you make sure that every second you're in the dungeon You're on boost and you're not just wasting it waiting for energy or using restores or this and that so that's just a little announcement I wanted to say was, um, yeah, if you're going to use uh, Ifrit for experience, uh, bring a body party. It will make things go a hell of a lot faster. So I hope you guys have some good fun leveling, get a lot of those um, ra rainbow basket things. The Namahike's baskets are pretty good. I got like a, e I got a EXP ticket, drop boost 100, Ryu boost. Um, someone told me they got an artisan sword. I got some mega potions. It's pretty good stuff. And I got like three restores from them. It's pretty good stuff. It's it's worth trading in for. So just keep that in mind and uh, have a great day.